In my last video, thread cutting on the lathe part 4, I, I cut this uh, 1 inch 12 external thread. And uh, I had a few comments by, by people that said, well, yeah, anybody can cut a nice thread on a hard inch lathe. What about us, us guys that have atlas lathes or, or other lathes that aren't of the same quality? I said, well, you know, as I, as I said in the last video, the, th the techniques for thread cutting are pretty much the same on all lathes. All right. So in order to prove that point, uh, I, sw I switched lathes over here to my dad's clausing lathe. And uh, I'm going to cut the, the internal thread on this piece to fit the external one we did on, on the hard inch. All right. Just to, just to prove that concept or that point. Um, this lathe, I, I guess my dad bought this probably uh, 35, 40 years ago maybe. And I, I rebuilt it for him. It's in, it's in pretty good shape. But it's, a, it's your typical Atlas lathe. Um, I did make a few... Uh, accessories for it. I made him this uh, carriage stop. I have drawings for this on the internet. If anyone's interested, I'll point them in that direction. Um, I made I made a boring bar holder and I, I made a, a new dial for him so it makes it easier to, to read the cross slide dial. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much a standard Atlas lathe. So let's see, let's look at the, the setup of the tool. I'm, I'm not going to do all this because it's pretty much the same as setting up the tool on a, for an external thread and I already covered that, so I'm not going to waste the time on it now. The difference is I used a smaller tool bit yeah, and that's the same too. I mean it's the same threading tool as used on the external. The flat's the same, the angles are the same, helix angle's the same, it's all the same. It's just I used a, a smaller one, a quarter inch in this case, instead of a three eighths that we used on the other one. And because everything has to fit inside the hole, right? We're doing internal thread. It all has to go inside. So I did that. And I, I set it up using the uh, using the thread gauge, just like just like we did before. Make sure everything's all set up properly, squared up. Got it on center vertically. Okay, all the same same type of thing. Um, the big difference in in the in the Atlas is that we don't have a quick change gearbox. That kind of through me because I didn't realize that when I, I volunteered to do this. And I've, I've actually never cut a thread using change gears, so this is going to be a new experience for me. Um, here they are. It took me a while to get it set up, mainly because I didn't have the right, or my dad didn't have the right chart. The chart he had was for a different model lathe, and it's altogether different. All the gears are different, all the, the brackets are different, so. Um, you might want to check yours and make sure you have the right chart for your lathe because there are a lot of variations on it. I got on the internet and looked around and I couldn't believe the number of variations. But I finally found this chart. This appears to be the right chart for this lathe and I looked through it and I got, I think I got everything all set up right. Um, basically, you know, we're looking for, we're looking, looking at 12 threads per inch. So you look through the chart here and it tells, tells me I need a 48 tooth gear on the screw. That's this one right here, so I got a 48 tooth gear on that. Um, it tells me I need a, a 32 tooth gear in uh, this position, which I have. And also, there's these charts always also tell you if the gear is in the front or back position. Back meaning toward the headstock, front meaning away from the headstock. So you have to make sure that's right. Uh, what else do I need here? Oh, it tells me that this next gear should be a 64 tooth gear. Which is this one, okay? And the final one, 32 on the spindle stud gear. That's this guy right here. Okay, that's a 32 pitch. I got all that set up. Uh, it's basically just following the chart, you know, looking up the numbers. Um, one thing you have to be a little careful about when you set it up, you want to make sure that the gears aren't tight to each other because that's that'll wear wear them out faster. A little bit of loose, you know, a little bit of play is, is what you want. One suggestion I saw was to, when you when you mesh the gears, put a piece of paper paper between them. That's that's a good mesh, or a good good clearance, and just take the paper out. But, uh, main thing is, just make sure you got a little bit of play. Uh, play doesn't hurt you because you're always threading in the same direction, so there's no backlash. If there is backlash between the gears, it doesn't matter. Alright, so we're pretty well set up for 12 threads per inch here. Uh, you just have to make sure your, your lead screw is engaged 
in the right direction. Um, this this way, you know, I'm, for this particular thread, I'm cutting toward the toward the part toward the headstock. So make sure your directional lever is in the right direction. And I'm just about ready to run out of battery, so I'm going to fade out here, charge the camera up, and after that we'll, we'll cut a thread.